The editable grid solution from Sonoma Partners allows you to edit records in line on any entity, native or custom, without the need to access Excel online. This is particularly helpful for customers who have dynamic CRM deployed on premises uh, or for folks who have um, Microsoft Dynamics CRM set up, uh, but they don't want their users using Excel online. Installation of Sonoma's editable grid is pretty straightforward. You just install the solution using CRM's native install process, and then you configure it for the entities you want the tool to be used against. There's even security around it, so you can allow certain users the privilege of using editable grid, um, but keep editable grid out of the hands of other users as you choose. So let's see how it works. First, you access Sonoma Partners editable grid from the command bar, just hitting the edit records button. That will open up a new window or tab and that allows you to change these records in edit mode. And to use the grid, you simply place the cursor on any editable field. So I'll change AdventureWorks so that it doesn't say sample anymore. Uh, you can use it up against any field type. So you'll note this is a text field, but I could also use this against a lookup field. I could use this up against also data field, currency field, date field, fit field, or pick list. That will allow you to update the value. And while you're doing this, you can update multiple records at a time. You can update multiple fields at a time. All those values can be different, unlike the mass edit feature native to dynamic CRM. And once you have made all of the updates you need to the records in the grid, um, you just need to save those changes before navigating away from the grid um, or closing the window. Uh, if you don't hit save, your changes are gonna be lost. To save the record, just hit that Save Changes button, and then the Save Changes button uh, saves your updates and also refreshes the grid. You can access the native Microsoft CRM form for any record just by clicking the checkbox next to the record and selecting Edit. That'll open up the form for that particular record with the native entity form. And if you want to create a new record on Editable Grid, simply click New and then just start typing your data in line. So I just created a new record, Sonoma Partners, just by creating it in line, uh, which was nice and easy. You'll just have to note that if you create a record here, it's not going to prompt the user to populate all the required fields. If you want to make sure that the user fills out all the required fields for that particular record type, you're going to want to add them to the view columns so that users know that they need to populate that. Also to note is that when you launch Editable Grid, it will retain any filters that were in place on the view when you launched uh, editable grid. So if you filter these records, let's say to just show the ones that had a credit hold of yes before you hop to editable grid, uh, editable grid would retain that filter when it opened up the new window or tab. You can also change the view that you're leveraging on the entity and editable grid will display both the personal and the system views in the tool itself. A couple of notes about Editable Grid. It works for all deployments of Microsoft Dynamics CRM, including CRM online and on-premises. It supports both native and custom entities, but each entity must be enabled through the grid configuration, which is a part of the solution we give you. Editable Grid also does support field level security, and you can launch it from within Outlook. Uh, you can also update a field that is not on the form for that record using Editable Grid. For more information about Sonoma Partners Editable Grid and to download a copy to try yourself, head to sonomapartners.com.